Hello, thank you for joining Raspberry Pi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this video I'm going to be introducing Otis. Otis was created from the jammers from Leeds Raspberry Jam in the UK and basically Otis stands for Out There Initiating STEM. If you don't know what STEM is, Google it, but it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. But do check it out online um, because there will be something in your area no doubt that you can contribute take part in and work with others um, to collaborate in your projects right so Otis I got hold of the original Otis um, I've got one of these um, and I'm going to bring it up on my webcam but I've I've done something different with mine. I did originally make Otis, um, but me being me, I like to uh, play around with stuff. And so I, I, well, I hacked it. Um, I took out the battery because um, there's a, a coin cell battery in the version that I have. The version two um, is what you would be able to buy now. Um, and basically I've got a power switch so I can turn it on and off uh, but I've joined it on to all soldered up behind um, with very short wires to this 40 pin header that will sit on top of my Raspberry Pi um, and basically I've done a little script and it just goes through the RGB for the um, LED so I'm just going to bring up Otis script. Um, it's very straightforward. I'm importing from random. I'm importing choice. Um, I'm getting the RPI GPIO library. I'm importing time. I'm setting my mode for BCM as I always tend to use that uh, rather than the board pins. Um, and I'm setting the warnings to false so it doesn't show me anything when I run it um, when in the shell or in the terminal. Um, there is four lights on Otis uh, if I just move it over um, you've got the belly Whoops. <laughs> um, so you've got the belly you've got the chesty one and then you've got the left eye and the right eye so if I just go back to my script so they're the pins for the red the green and the blue and that follows suit for all of these here um, and you'll notice that I've set some speed variables uh, list and I'm going to go through that shortly um, in my test script but also I've done a full RGB list um, and that's where the random choice is coming into it um, further down the script so I'm just pausing for a little bit after I set the RGB um, values in each list so it's going through the belly the chest the left eye eye left um, eye right and I'm setting the, the values as GPIO dot outs I'm setting an initial value of GPIO dot high um, because um, the way that it's wired um, it uses the ground to actually bring the lights on um, on the back of Otis when you do hopefully you will purchase one uh, you'll see that there is some little solder pads to solder across to get certain colors on these lights there is a bit of help in I think it's in Otis um, where you can actually um, choose which LED jumpers to get different colors so getting back to my script um, so I've set the initial value so it's sorting out the GPIOs um, so everything's ready I'm just going to sleep for a second just to um, slow things down a little don't really need it but um, sometimes I just pop it in right so basically I'm doing a for loop and that's going to go through my speed list so each time it goes through everything in this loop it will increase the speed to well from 0.3 of a second to 0.1 just to make it a little bit quicker and basically 
for that is some people call it a throwaway value um, um, but you could put I but when you're not actually needing it you can just put it in as an, an underscore um, so that's how that's being done so I'm setting the output as low to turn it on and then I'm doing the, the speed that I'm going through in that list and then I'm setting it to be high to turn the LED colour off um, and then I'm doing that um, sleep again so it comes on for a set period of time and goes off for a set period of time goes through the other so it goes through red goes through the list goes to green goes through the this um, loop sorry and then goes to blue and then when it's done that it'll go to the chest light um, LED to do the red then the green then the blue and left eye exactly the same and then the right eye exactly the same and then further down the script just at the bottom here we've got 4s in speed so we're doing the same sort of procedure we're going to go through the s list um, and it's going to do 0.3 for the initial run so it'll it'll do um, here and you'll notice that I'm using I for the uh, iteration rather than the underscore because I'm going to actually use this um, and uh, sorry I'm not <laughs> um, but you can have the I or A letter um, but it's going to do it 50 times so uh, the initial run will be 0.3 of a second so it will do it will choose a color from the RGB list which are the the full RGB pins that we're using um, you'll notice that there's the belly there's the belly etc going through that list and um, so it chooses an RGB um, LED to actually use um, sorry a color of RGB and then it sets it to low to turn the RGB um, on and then it sleeps for the first run which is 0.3 of a second and then it turns it off for 0.3 of a second and then it goes on to the 0.1 so it does that 50 times and then it goes to the next speed and does that 50 times and then time dot sleep and then it does the cleanup so after talking through all that let's get it on and show you how it goes so I'm just going to move it over to the to the middle a little right so if I click there to run you'll see that it's going through the R uh, I clicked the wrong window I do apologize I will start it again so starting that again my mistake so it's just done the RGB for the belly the chest the left eye and the right eye and now it's doing the speed at 0.1 and now it's going through it again but this time it's doing it as that random so it's going to do 50 times here and when it's done it's 50 flashes of random choice it will do it to the faster speed and if anybody has any issues with epilepsy um, please look away because um, as you can see it's quite flashy I don't want to cause any injury to anyone or possible injury right so there you go so you can do quite a bit with these so although the the way that you get Otis um, is as a soldering project kit um, but you can chain sorry choose your colors of your LEDs to use um, but I've made that little change on the way on the back of it so that I can choose my colors uh, there's a great guide on how to solder and how to actually put the kit together uh, and if you wash, wish to buy one if you click on the link there it sells on Timdy um, I'll just bring it up as a new tab so there we go the Leeds Raspberry Jam um, and 
I'd really appreciate if you could um, help out by buying. It's a, a great bunch of uh, adults and children who are part of Leeds Raspberry Jam. I do attend myself. Um, no proceeds will go to me. Um, that's down to it's been the teenagers that's actually created this but you can find all all that information on the Otis website um, but in the credits and licensing you will see that I come up with a name um, that that's pretty much not a lot for, for what I've done for it it's all been the great work from Matthew Charleston and James Cook um, as well as the help and support of whoops, <laughs> Claire Garside um, and Matthew Moore right so that's it for this video I appreciate if you could um, purchase um, or share the video um, be a great project kit for uh, a young budding soldier um, getting them into coding to play around with it and um, soldering so support the Leeds Raspberry Jam please if you can that would be fantastic thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one